a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. So try to take him down. There you go. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Covington strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Spinning back fist. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. So just over 20 total strikes. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. That knee might have landed there. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. He's grabbed to his feet. Usman gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. He's got to shore up the defense here, though. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's and now he has a hand. the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. And this might just be a matter of time. sign for him moving forward in this he fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Oh, big punch land. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clutch. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. And he landed the right hand there. We're starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. Oh, times another takedown. Nice shot there by Covington. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Oh, this is there, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Just 
misses with that big right hand. Big ball punch man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, the takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to rest. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. That kick blocked by Covington. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Good punch. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the region. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Huge knee land. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love taking a couple. Do something different. Press punch. Do one of the special moves. I mean, geez, uh, take down that to take down. And they both stand up. A lot of power on display for Kamara Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamara Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. So 58 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman and landing with 66% accuracy against Colby Covington. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. He's having his way with him here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Man, how about that takedown defense? Looked like the slam was there. Not tonight. That knee might have landed there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it. He's right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Usman gets up, he is back on the feet here. Nice punch there by Covington. Last combination there outside. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Down as another takedown attempt lands. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Usman gets back up again. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Covington's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs. Well play shot there, DC. He is officially a big massive hook. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. Okay, it's fine. Been here before. just. Third round underway. Covington gets hit with a kick. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Covington. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he can 
continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Both fighters get up now. Just misses with that one. Usman gets in the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got aggressive. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh! Well, no surprise. He's hurt bad. Covington's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas done. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. So 99 total strikes. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous well. Beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Beautiful fight. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergley out has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of the third round. He played the winner by The Nigerian Nightmare, bro. I know y'all saw that. That match was crazy, bro. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Kamaru Uzman, man. I, I literally just watched the video of how he beat him, bro. It was a striking contest. Did the exact same shit. And I ain't gonna lie, that was fire, bro. Literally, I had like two glitchy ass punches. I know y'all saw. That was weird as hell, but yeah. Let's go. Yes, sir. And what was even crazier was the fact that during the fight, as y'all can see, a lot of the times he was trying to go for takedowns. Like, literally, most of that fight was him just trying to take me down. So eventually, I started playing with his own game. I had to start using clutch. Um, what's called attacks and stuff that was actually working was slowing him down he, I didn't even counter like one of them and I started using takedowns so yeah that was really overall a crazy match I ain't even gonna lie I did not realize that that in me let's go y'all